another thing I wanted to ask you about, Megan, is having like multi-genre, even though it's not, I guess, I want to say they're not so different, but they kind of are. You know, mother and child is very different than boudoir. Even though the mother's involved or whatever, you know, the woman's involved. How do you deal with this as far as marketing? And, you know, do you have two separate Instagram pages or website, you know, for family versus boudoir? How does that work? So glad you asked this question. Um, I feel like in the photography community it's very much choose your niche narrow it down don't share too much of like the mixed genres um so for me I kept thinking oh great now I have to create a new website for for boudoir I have to create a new Instagram and Facebook because people are going to be so confused and wondering what this is Mm -hmm. um and I want to break the stigma that you need to you need to separate it because ultimately when you're living in your purpose and when you're photographing what you love it all for me blended together because it all segued back to the woman. Mm -hmm. And again, the whole thought of multifaceted, think of a diamond. There's so many different parts to the woman. And I think within, you know, the style's not too off. It's very similar and cohesive style with boudoir and the the family work that I do. Um, And again, bringing the soul focus back to the woman and mom, everything just flows. And I wanted to let other people know that you don't have to split up your, your business. You can, mm-hmm. you certainly can. And I know that that works for so many people. And yeah, I just feel like yeah. paving the way and just saying like, photograph what you love and then it can stay cohesive. Um, mm-hmm. Again, being all about the woman and everything that I do yeah. too, even with families and with like mother, child, there, there is this very feminine, sensual aspect to the photography um, where it's it blends for sure. Yeah, definitely. It, it's nice to not have to separate that. I've never separated it either. Like I think in the last right. couple of weeks, I've posted seniors, personal branding, a reel of seniors, a reel of personal branding. Like they're totally different, but I just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of my personal branding clients will come back and have their uh, high school seniors do their photo shoots with me. Or if you, or like you just heard me say about my client, Isabel from this morning, yep. she did her maternity with me. She started a new business or she, I don't know. She, no, she didn't really start a new business, but she switched into doing financial advising. She was doing something else before. And now she needed photos for that. And so how would she know that I did personal branding if I didn't tell her and show her? Exactly. You know, it's, um, yep. I have no problem with it whatsoever. So I'm, I'm glad it works for you too. And, and it lessens the load of not having to do a new website and a new Instagram and managing multiple Instagram pages. And it's just like, ugh. so that's awesome. Absolutely. I'm glad that works. Yeah. Yes. Very cool. 